Well, that's the rookie showcase. Not the best game. It's Chicago. We're picking 20th in the upcoming draft. We love what we saw in you and want to ask you some questions to see how well you'd fit in with us. Question number one. Coach Thibodeau preaches defense nonstop. His game plans are built entirely around it. What do you think about defense in today's game and how does it apply to you? Defense wins games. We have that pounded into our heads in college. I can't even begin to tell you the number of times I've created for myself on offense by simply getting the opportune steal or block on the defensive end. Defense is an art. It's not flashy. It doesn't get the kids excited, but it wins. It's like we have a stash. I think Coach T would love coaching me. Let's see. One more question, if you don't mind. Chicago may be known as the Windy City, but are you aware of just how brutally cold the winters are? That wind comes right into the city off the lake, and oh boy, is it cold. We have freezing cold, we have snow, we have it all. It's a beautiful, beautiful city, but I need to know, as non-basketball related as this sounds, can you deal with these types of adverse conditions? Problem. I was born and raised in cold weather. This ain't nothing. There's one thing Mike Jones is from Chicago State. When the gets cold, it's basketball playing time. That's my favorite time of the year. From Illinois. Thanks so much for your time. I don't want to get ahead of myself here, but we would be ecstatic if you're still on board when it's our turn to pick. Be nice if you can go straight away. Become the next Jordan. We just got done playing and probably want to catch a shower, so I'll keep this brief. I'm the GM of the Atlanta Hawks. We have the 18th pick in the draft and are narrowing down our list of draft targets. If you wouldn't mind, I'd like to ask you a couple questions. If you were a GM, where would you draft yourself in this draft? It'd be a real honor to go Lotto, know what I mean? As a player, you worked your entire life for this day. You dream of putting on that hat, walking up to the podium and shaking Mr. Stern's hand. To be recognized as one of the first players drafted, that's a reward I definitely want for all the work I've put towards this. You know. Okay, last question. Do you feel pressure to be good right away in this league? Nah, I won't feel any pressure to be good right away. I understand the NBA has the greatest basketball players in the world. I get that. There'll definitely be a learning curve to the level of play here. I'll adjust in time, and when I do adjust, watch out, baby. Okay, that's all I have. I love what I heard here. We would love to have you join us. We'll be in touch. The Pacers. Hey, how's it going? Good game tonight. I'm the scouting director for the Pacers. We are strongly considering drafting you with the 23rd pick in the upcoming draft, but we'd first like to ask a couple questions about how you'd fit in here before we take that step. First question. It looks to me like you're best when playing out on the wing. This is arguably our deepest position, with both Danny Granger and Paul George able to play there. Getting minutes at the two and the three is going to be a tough task, especially for a rookie. We think you have talent, but you'd have to be willing to fight for floor time here. Are you prepared to do that? I mean, yeah. I definitely would be willing to fight for playing time. 
Look, I know you have some great scores at those positions, but I think that not only can I find my way onto the court, but thrive once I get there. Adding me to the mix will give the Pacers one of the best perimeter rotations in the league, and I'm excited to be a part of it. Next question. We realize that here in Indianapolis, we don't have the appeal of some of the big market teams. We tend to look for players who would be proud to be part of this organization, someone who can really take pride in being a member of the Indiana Pacers. We need someone who's willing to spend their entire career as a member of this team. Is that someone you? Mm, I don't know, to be honest with you. I'm still so young. I haven't played a single minute in the NBA yet, so... I don't think I can sit here and tell you with any certainty that I'm going to play my entire NBA career for one team. Thanks for your time. This gives us something to take back to the team. We'll see you on draft night. See. Draft 30. Gender by 2K Sports. Good evening and welcome to the 2013 NBA Draft. For 60 of the world's most talented and dedicated young players, tonight marks the culmination of years of hard work as their dream of playing in the NBA moves closer to reality. To all of the fans watching around the world and to those here with us tonight, thank you for joining us. And now to the task at hand. With the first pick in the 2013 NBA Draft, the Cleveland Cavaliers select Anthony Bennett Whoa! of Toronto, Canada and the University of Nevada, Las Vegas. Whoa! With the second pick in the 2013 NBA Draft, the Orlando Magic select Victor Oladipo of Indiana University. With the third pick in the 2013 NBA Draft, the Washington Wizards select Otto Porter from Georgetown University. With the fourth pick in the 2013 NBA Draft, the Charlotte Bobcats select Cody Zeller from Indiana University. With the fifth pick in the 2013 NBA Draft, the Phoenix Suns select Alex Len from the University of Maryland. With the sixth pick in the 2013 NBA Draft, the New Orleans Pelicans, yes, the New Orleans Pelicans, select Nerlens Noel from the University of Kentucky. With the seventh pick in the 2013 NBA Draft, the Sacramento Kings select Ben McLemore from the University of Kansas. With the eighth pick in the 2013 NBA Draft, the Detroit Pistons select Kentavious Caldwell Pope from the University of Georgia. With the ninth pick in the 2013 NBA Draft, the Minnesota Timberwolves select Trey Burke from the University of Michigan. With the 10th pick in the 2013 NBA Draft, the Portland Trailblazers select C.J. McCollum from Lehigh University. With the 11th pick in the 2013 NBA Draft, the Philadelphia 76ers select Michael Carter-Williams from Syracuse University. With the 12th pick in the 2013 NBA Draft, the Oklahoma City Thunder select Stephen Adams from Rotorua, New Zealand and the University of Pittsburgh. With the 13th pick in the 2013 NBA Draft, the Dallas Mavericks select Kelly Olynyk from Kamloops, Canada and Gonzaga University. With the 14th pick in the 2013 NBA Draft, the Utah Jazz select 
Shabazz Muhammad. With the 15th pick in the 2013 NBA Draft, the Milwaukee Bucks select Giannis Adetokounmpo from Athens, Greece. With the 16th pick in the 2013 NBA Draft, the Boston Celtics select Lucas Nogueira from Brazil. With the 17th pick in the 2013 NBA Draft, the Atlanta Hawks select Dennis Schroeder from Braunschweig, Germany. With the 18th pick in the 2013 NBA Draft, the Atlanta Hawks select Shane Larkin from the University of Miami. Shane is in the building. With the 19th pick in the 2013 NBA Draft, the Cleveland Cavaliers select Sergei Karasov from Russia. Mm. With the 20th pick in the 2013 NBA Draft, the Chicago Bulls select the 23-year-old yeah. from Chicago there State we go. University. Like Charles to Buffalo, I mean Chicago. to become the next Jordan but we need you to provide valuable minutes off the bench yeah. Mike I can't begin to tell you how excited we are that you are part of this team we've started a new ad the campaign called he's got next and on billboards around town completely centered around your arrival let us know what you think Okay. Including moments ago. What a fantastic celebration of a terrific championship year. Welcome everybody to the day we've all been looking forward to. Yeah. The start of a new against LeBron. Game girls. And joining me to provide the analysis for what's sure to be another exciting year. Steve Kerr, the sharpshooter. And Clark Kellogg. Opening night and time to check out the starting lineups to the tip off of the new season. First for Chicago, D. Rose and Jimmy Butler the back. And down low, the two-time NCAA champion in Florida. The 6 tornado of energy and effort. It's the big man, Jokey Noah. Then there's Dunleavy, and it's Boozer in at the four-man position. And for Miami, Chalmers and D. Wade are the guards. And playing at the five, the always versatile 6 star big man, able to score inside and out Chris Bosch and it's LeBron James and it's Battier in at the power forward well when you have the best record in the league you're going to be the most dominant one of the most dominant teams at home the heat just destroyed people down in Miami and only the Denver Nuggets had more wins at home than the heat did So the tip off, it's Miami. LeBron gets this screen from Bosch. It's LeBron with the drive, and the shot is good. LeBron of course. The first points up on the board for the Heat. And how crazy is that for the Heat to win as many games as they did last season, but still be second in the Heat in home Yeah, they Damn it. Number one at home. Perform as this we can. Now here's Douglas. Screw you, LeBron. 